At this time, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Mr. Bob Turley. Before I do, I'd just like to say a couple words, and I'll turn it over to him, and he'll probably say a couple more words. But, a lot of you know, in baseball, every year, somebody dominates the year. If you go back to the Yankees, in 1927, Babe Ruth dominated with his baseball. 1941, Joe DiMaggio with the hitting streak. In 1956, Mickey Mantle with the triple crown. 1961, Roger Maris had the home run. In 1958 was the year that belonged to Bob Turley. Bob Turley won 21 games, led the New York Yankees to the World Series against the Mil uh, Milwaukee Braves. In 1957, the Milwaukee Braves beat the New York Yankees. So this was a rematch in 1958. The Yankees were down three games to one, and Bob Turley took them out on the fifth game. Shut them out, struck out 10, 12. Each year gets better, 13 or 14. Okay, that sounds good. So he won the game five. Game six, he goes to the bullpen, chilling out the bullpen, they get in trouble. He comes in in game six, throws a couple innings, he picks up a save in game six. So now they go to game seven, Don Larson gets knocked out early, he comes in three days in a row, throws six and two-thirds innings in relief, shuts him down, Yankees win it, World Series MVP, Bob Turley, right here. He was a Cy Young Award winner, and maybe many of you don't realize, but back in the 50s, there was not two Cy Young Award winners, not American League, National League. There was one Cy Young Award winner, and that also was Bob Turley. And Bob, you may want to give C.C. Sabathia some tips so we can get him moved up so he can win this year. That's a Yankee joke. Thank you. <laughs> so, we are very happy to have in this area today. And Bob just came from Chicago. He was in Chicago Friday. They had a uh, Cy Young Award, all the Cy Young Award winners there, and he was there on behalf of the Yankees. So he'd like to say a few words at this time. Uh, they didn't call him Bullet Bob for nothing, uh, so he used to bring that heat pretty good. Uh, to Wardlow Cedar Falls, a uh, nice round of applause for a World Series champ, Cy Young Award winner, Hitchcock Award winner, and MVP Bullet Bob Turley. Thank you very much. I have never seen so many NY hats, shirts, and everything around here. I feel like I'm back in the World Series again in, in New York and all our fans were there. But uh, this is something nice. I, I uh, had a long time talking to Charlie about this. Uh, the fact that you signed me up to come here about a year ago. And I guess he was kind of worried, will I show up or not, like Mickey Rivers. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I said, I, if I give my word, I'll be there. I promise you that. But it was a little bit of a problem. I didn't realize it was so far up here. Uh, I told my wife after she was going to come with me because she's a great baseball fan. And I said, it's, uh, honey, stay home. It's too cold and too far. So uh, she didn't come. But, uh, maybe some other time we can get back up this way when it's warm, okay? But, uh, you know, uh, I thank you for inviting me here, uh, coming here, and uh, I'm glad to see so many things that I'll probably sign. Uh, I promise you, you won't wear me out. I signed a lot of them, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, New York, uh, I came up to the big leagues in 19... Uh, 49 for the first time, didn't pitch, with the St. Louis Browns. How many remember the St. Louis Browns? Oh, we've got an old, a lot of old parts here, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, that's why I came up with the major leagues, and uh, later on, in 53, when the season was over, we transferred over to Baltimore. And I, I became a pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. The, the, the distinction between the St. Louis Browns and the Baltimore Orioles is this. When we were the Browns, we lost, uh, lost, uh, won 54 games and lost 100. Now we moved over to a new city with fans, but guess what? We still lost 100 games and, and won 54. And it's hard as a pitcher when they only average for you two runs a game. But I won 14 games, and I guess I got the attention of the New York Yankees, and they traded me to the New York Yankees 
in October. And uh, from that point on, uh, my career kind of changed a little bit. I started winning some ball games when you're pitching for a club that scores six runs a game. And anybody uh, wants to be there. My friends in Baltimore would call me on the phone. I was sitting home. My first son was born. And uh, Terry, my oldest, my oldest son, and uh, yeah, I was speaking to the Bob. He, was, he wasn't very old at that time. And his grandson <coughs> screams, Bob Turley, traded to the New York Yankees. I screamed, I was so damn excited. <laughs> <laughs> people say to me, well, why don't you hate to go? And I talk to people, oh, no. <laughs> I'm watching you. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and I said to them, look, I'll tell you, if I had to walk to New York, I'll walk to New York just to get there and play with that ball club. And I've had a lot of great thrills with the Yankees. Eight years there, seven years we in the World Series, four years we win, Cy Young Award and all the awards, three All-Star Games, a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's a great thrill for me now, because in my business life, which I'm not going to get in with you right now, but you can find out about that. that the thing about it, we didn't make much money in New York. In fact, is when I was pitching for the Yankees, I was also working for Continental Baking Company, and I was making more money for with them than I was fishing for the New York Yankees. So no, we didn't get much money, but what I got out of it was the fame of being a New York Yankee that's well recognized all over the country. And it just won did wonders for me in the business world. And some of you people know what it feels like that every time you walk in somebody, they know you see somebody, they know you. You got credibility, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now you gotta open your mouth so you better have it there too. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and I, I've known so much about it. I've seen all the other guys that came up here, Ron Durham. Now, you got to be careful with ball players, okay? Ball players have a tendency to lie a little bit, you know, exaggerate as the years go on, and I'm no different than them, all right? Now, I always say good things about me and bad things about the competition, all right? And, uh, thank you for having me here, and uh, let me sit down and, and uh, Enjoy the program design. I know we got to take a picture, right? Are you in the picture, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that here. Okay. <laughs>